What is up everybody and welcome to the Farming Simulator 2017. My name is Wolfhart and we are back with some more Farming Sim. I've been playing quite a bit of this lately, wow words, I cannot speak. I've been playing a quite a bit of this lately and I really really love this map. <laughs> There's something about this map that I am just hooked. So we're going to do a bit of a play on this on this one. So, I have an idea of how I want to do things. And I have a lot of stuff installed. It's like if we actually go to the shop. Uh, let's see. Let's not go to brands. If we go in here like we can actually look under uh, Oh, yeah. Like sugarcane harvesting. I have the platinum expansion stuff. I have under placeables. I have mods galore. Because <laughs> I play with a lot of stuff. So, like, this is all the fish stuff. Uh, we have a little bit of specialty storage for wool as well as uh, boards from the lumber. From the sawmill. <laughs> And then we have, these are bale storage, just to make things nice and clean. Uh, we have the bees, gotta have the bees, I like them. Which one is it that, ah, this one's handwork. You have to pick up the individual boxes. I like that one. Uh, these are for the, uh, the bees as well. Yeah, I have a lot of, a lot of stuff installed. I have some trailers as well, I have... I forgot that's in the Platinum Expansion. Uh, I have this guy, which we're going to be getting pretty quickly. But for now, we need to get some stuff going. We don't have anything planted in any of our fields. We own Field 1 right here in front of us. Uh, if I can stop doing things. Yeah. We own that field... We're on the field back there behind us. And where are tractors? We're gonna sell that tractor. I really don't need it. And we are gonna be using helpers to get us a little bit of a boost on some things. Because, okay, where'd all that dirt go? <laughs> because to me, it doesn't really make sense to have all, all kinds of stuff going on. Or have us doing all the work. Can I not pick you up? Right, manual attach. I forgot that's installed. Okay, so what kind of plant, or what kind of crop should we plant first? I gotta move this guy. You get to go over here. What did I hit? I hit that thing apparently. We're gonna park you right there. Okay, let's uh, fill this guy up. We're gonna get some stuff planted. I'm sorry if you hear my controller. I I have to play this with a controller. <laughs> Anything else, and to me, it just does not work come on you may refill for the seed there we go so yes we have three fields we have fields one four and ten you can see them all on the mini map we're gonna get fields one and four planted and we will look at possibly doing some work around the farm because we need to get rid of that case tractor I don't want it <laughs> we can have it but I don't want it let's see uh, wheat 
let's do soybeans. And we'll actually uh, run this one for a minute. But we're going to talk a little. I like this game. <laughs> I don't know why, but I like it. It is very relaxing. But this game is also very time consuming. So, the way this is going to work is that... Okay, i got to change that setting because I, that is not working the way I wanted it to. But the way it's going to work, because it is so time consuming, is that we're going to do one video a week. And it's it's going to kind of be our day to relax and let go. I could do it as a streaming series, but to me that just does not work. So we're going to do every weekend we're going to get a video of this, probably on on Sundays actually. Sunday is just going to be a relaxation day. Take a little break from all the chaos in life and we're just going to farm. Now, with that out of the way, the mods I have installed are intended to give me some stuff to do. Because otherwise we do the same thing over and over and over and over again. This is going to give me the opportunity to do a ton of different things. I actually have not done everything in those mods. I have another world on the very first map that came out with this. So it was a Goldcrest Valley. I am having steering issues. <laughs> Don't mind me. Okay, let's get you going again. Uh, I have a map on that one that I've been playing on. I thought about doing it on that map again, but that map is just not conducive to my style. I can play on there, but I end up getting bored with it very quickly. So I decided that we're going to do this map because I like this map. The fields are small. The fields are a little weird. The hills are insane. And there is a lot of stuff that, I don't know, I feel like we can push things a little bit with this one. And I like that. So today we're going to be working on getting all of our crops planted. Now we got three fields to plant. The last one I might leave until later to do because it is a big field, field four over there. These ones shouldn't take us too long. And I am going to do a little bit of a uh, time lapse for when I'm actually planting stuff because there is no way I'm going to sit here and make you guys watch me go this quickly and try to plant these entire fields. Field 4 above us will be probably planted with wheat or barley, maybe. I haven't decided yet because... I really don't know what I'm doing right here. Was that just trying to plant? I hope that wasn't wasting uh, seed. But I do also have things set up that we have to do three different fertilizings and we do have to plow every once in a while. So I have to make sure I actually do that. Now that means we gotta push some stuff. We gotta push cows or pigs, probably cows. They're a bit easier to do. The pigs I would like to get into later on, once we actually have things established. I might also look into figuring out some better crop storage, because the storage on this farm is actually limited to 300,000. So I think... Uh, I think you can get up to 300,000 of each? Actually no, that's that's actually pretty good. Because I think on Goldcrest Valley, it's only 100,000. That is some serious storage. But we have a couple of things to do. Why does my headset try to, to try to shut itself down? I have to figure out how, if I can turn that off. Well, we're going to do a little bit of work. Got to get some fields planted. We got to get that case sold. And we gotta get... I'm not sure if I want to keep these trees or not. We gotta go buy some stuff as well. Because once we sell that case, we're gonna buy a mower and hopefully a loading wagon 
so that we can collect grass. And then I will probably do a couple of jobs on the various farms around the map that I know I'm going to want to buy eventually. We're not going to buy every farm on the map. We're not going to buy all the fields. Just certain ones that I feel I can work well. It's so like field three. Sure, I'll buy that one. That's the one right next to us. I actually like that field. It's a little annoying with the, the way the entrance part is. But I can work with it. Also, there was something else going through my head. We don't have anything that is just kind of relax and play. Everything we do, we're always like going crazy trying to accomplish something. And I am stuck on a pole. I'll say most of what I play is Minecraft. Yes, I do love my Minecraft. I actually just downloaded a new mod pack that I was debating about starting, and then I tried to start it, and I have, like, five frames. So I gotta figure out what, would, what I'm gonna do about that before I actually start playing that one. So. Let's, let's get the rest of this field planted. We will refill our stuff, move on to the next field, and figure out what we're gonna plant over there. So... Let's go. the last row for this one. Now this will be a nice little soybean field. And finished. Okay, let's go refill. We're going to go over to field number 10 and we will probably plant canola over there. I want to try to keep the field something different just to make things a little more interesting. Okay, there's that. I'm running over a chicken. All is good in the world. Okay, let's head over to the other place. I might well no I can't <laughs> I can't hire anyone to work on this one. Uh Wonderful. Also, we've got the front end loader attachment on this tractor, which is why we're going to try to keep it. And the case we really don't need. It's just kind of an extra tractor that we have lying around. Whoa, don't, don't swing too far there. Okay, let's get this going. We will have to do this part first so that we can avoid the building. But we're going to get rid of the case. We're going to use that money to get us 
a different vehicle. We're going to sell the truck as well because we don't really need the truck. And we're going to replace it with that Gator, the HPX Gator. Because I feel like that is just better suited for this small map. On the Goldcrest Valley, I would use one of the pickup trucks. But on this one, with how small it is, I feel like we'd be better off with a smaller vehicle. So we're going to go ahead and stick with something small. Okay, that should be enough for that. Go ahead and get going this way. We are planting canola, right? Yes. And... This is actually a fairly large field, even with the, the power uh, relay pylon in the middle. Don't want to run over those crops. I do have crop destruction on. I have crop destruction. I have... Uh, what is it? Uh, like the ground response and... One other kind of cosmetic mod. So the ground response is why you can actually see the the tires like bouncing up and down and digging into the dirt. I thought about in installing GPS, but yeah, I don't know what I'm doing with that mod, and I don't really want to. Because after a point, we're going to start hiring people to help us get this going. And they go in straight lines anyway, so not really going to matter. Let's go ahead and get this field planted, which means time for another time lapse. And I think we're not going to plant field four on camera because I feel like that one is just too big and doing three time lapses in a row is just going to be annoying. Oh, I didn't mean to. Maybe I should do a row on this side as well. Nah, we'll be fine. As long as they pay attention, we'll be fine. I'll be careful around that as well. Uh, after we finish this field, we're going to do a little bit of a tour of the map too. Because it's been a while since I've actually been around this map. There's been a couple of updates to it. And I want to see what's changed. So, let's get this time lapse going. And finished. This feels a little bit tricky because of that pile on there. 
So now let's go ahead and I think I will actually get that last field going, but we're not going to be the ones to plant it. I'm going to see if I can get a a worker to plant it for us. Maybe. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's. this is going to run out of seed or fertilizer at one point during planting that field. So we'll have to keep an eye on him. Or her. We can have female workers. I think they added that in in this one. Just ran over another chicken. And another one. <laughs> I'm a great farmer, aren't I? We got that one. We got... A seed, and we are out of seed. I'll go get some more of that later. Let's go ahead, and we will plant some wheat here. And we will get this guy going. He should be able to do it on his own. This field's not super complicated. The only complicated part is when it could, gets too close to the walls. Okay, I guess we're just going to leave that there for now. Because <laughs> they can't figure out how to, fa how to plant that field. That's fine. So we got gold nuggets. I will always collect those. I think I've found all of them before already. There's one in here. This is also where we come to collect our eggs. Now we have a couple of eggs. Thank you, chickens. Free money. Uh, let's go take a look around over here. Got our harvester back here. We got... This is the pigs. Some storage space back here. So these are the pig pins. Not a terrible space. We got more storage... We have a couple of silage pits, pathway to get over to those fields, and we have a little bit of a working space back here, which we're going to make use of with the bees, I think, or maybe the sawmill. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. And we have a little storage there, another silage pit, I think. No, there's not. We can get on the roof. <laughs> Uh, let's see. We've got grass fields all around us. So like there's a gra there's a grass field one there. We got grass field two over on the other side of that field, which we can kind of see. We've got fields four and five across the road on either side of field ten. This is our room for dumping grain into storage. This is where we pick things up out of storage. Obviously, we got the sheep over here. Uh, storage, storage, workshop. We can actually work on things. Uh, I think I'm going to leave that one closed. We're going to open this one. Black sheep mudding. Uh, they're the guys who made this map. Yeah, here's the workshop. You can actually pull vehicles into here and work on them. We're going to take the truck... And the case, and we're gonna go sell them real quick. And we're gonna see if we can get that gator. And we have a full trailer of grain right there. We might go sell that as well. I think it's wheat. But yeah, this this truck is just ridiculously fast and has pretty poor control. So that's one reason I don't like it. The newer one is a little bit better. But I don't really like that one either. So we go ahead and pull in here. And come inside. And sell. Goodbye. We now have $45,000. How much is that gator? Because I think we can actually afford it. 
It is 35,500. And it looks like you can actually... It holds a pallet. Missing function bale trailer. Okay. Whatever you got to say. Uh, let's see. Wheel setup. We'll go with design two. Now it should be sitting out here. This thing is so nice. I like it. I actually really like it. Like it actually has the caution labels and everything. <laughs> so, I also love the floating hat. So now we have a hat on. <laughs> it's not perfectly lined up, but hey, whatever. Let's go ahead and grab the case. We'll take the trailer with us. I think we can hook it up to this thing. We're going to go ahead and head back and people. Pedestrians crossing the road. Got to wait. Okay. Now this isn't as fast as the truck, which is one reason I like it. It's actually much easier to control. I am still using a controller, so I'm not going to be perfect at driving, but I'm going to be much better than if I was trying to use my keyboard. So we'll go ahead and park you right in here. Oh, we can refuel in here. Okay. So that's a fuel station. Uh, not you. You. Now, I don't believe there's anything that we actually need this tractor for. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and... Can I cover that? No, I cannot. We'll go ahead and just sell this off. That is... That's straw. Never mind, we're going to put this in one of the storage spaces in the back. Because we'll actually bail or use that at some point. We will put it here. Go ahead and do that. Got a little outside, but we can clean that up later. Go ahead and bring this over here. We will perk it in here where there is yet more storage. <laughs> I don't intend to go hunting down specifically all the golden nuggets. If we find them throughout our play, we find them. If we get all of them, hooray! Or maybe I'll do one, a special, for, uh, I don't know, Easter, or for 4th of July, or something, I don't know. We'll figure something out. Let's go sell this tractor. We really don't need it. So there's the cow field right there. There's actually... A, uh, that building there when you first come in that this was backed up against is actually the cow, cow barn, I guess you can call it. So that's where our cows will be at. That's where we will take food, water, and, uh, we'll have to muck them out in there as well. At least I think. I have no idea. Never dealt with them. It's not on this map. Hey, let's go ahead and sell you. $91,000. We have over $100,000. Let's 